Good afternoon, everyone. Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. We've got 2018 Bowman's Best Baseball 8-Box. Pick your team 20 coming at you from jazbeescasebreaks.com. Big thanks to all of these folks for hanging out with us on your Saturdays. Got DMAC with uh, the little rooftop next to his name. He got the Cubs in a spot random. Jared Spielman got the Angels in a spot random. Chris Parent got the Yankees. There's Tommaso with the last spot mojo. And Tom with the Nationals from the spot random. So congrats and good luck. And good luck to everybody. Here's the Bowman's best right here. Justin Ward, what's going on? Series one poster. Here we go. All right. Love this Bowman's best. And as you remember, there are four Chrome autographs per master box, and there's some parallels in there too. So good luck to all. There you go. Chris Parent just got on just in time. Yes, you did indeed get the Yankees in the spot random. The random.org was kind to you this time. Good luck. Yeah, Glaber Day is what he's looking for. Watch my Dodgers in spring training action as I was packing for our Tops Industry Conference trip. They won 7-6 against the White Sox. The White Sox were playing a split squad game. So it was good. Good to see the boys in blue in action. Uh, Greg McKinnon will uh, select Pick Team 8 go down. You didn't notice it on the schedule. You didn't notice it because it's not full yet. Once it's full, once once it says sold out on jazbeescasebreaks.com, then we'll pop it on the schedule. I wish I could just snap my fingers and say, hey, that's when we're going to do it and magically have it sell out whenever I want to, but no, you guys drive the show. So if you want to do it, Greg, help us out. JaspiesCaseBreaks.com MH, what's going on? Cubs win 8-4 in their spring training game. Spring training games are great, folks, because all these like prospects that we see in these Bowman products... You'll start seeing them on uh, on TV because they're going to get a little uh, little taste of the the action. There's Anthony Ziegler that'll go to Chris Perrin, who got randomized the Yankees, so he's already on the board. Oh, he's already in it. I got you. Well, then someone help out Greg McKinnon. He's already got. He already got in to that select break. He just needs everyone else to help him out. Where is this guy? Where is this guy going to go? Where is he going to be producing power? Who knows? There's Helio Ramos. Nice oppo Joe Mojo going to Robert Edwards and the Giants. There you go, Robert. It's one of their big prospects for the Giants. Hopefully no sophomore slump for this guy. Did I see Eloy Jimenez on TV today? I think I did. Whoa, look at this. Wow, 5 out of 10, Anthony Rizzo. For Darren McKenzie and the Cubs. Got the Cubs in the spot random. Nice. Nice Anthony Rizzo, Darren. Saw Verdugo in action today in the Dodgers spring training game. Chris Hale asking if I've packed my cold weather gear for Arizona. He's can't believe he's saying that. Well, it is a desert. It does get cold in the uh, in the fall and the winter, desert conditions. But yeah, I think right around now. It's a little unseasonably cold, but I think I was watching the I was watching the games. We'll save one of these Otani's too. I was watching the games, and it seems like people were still out there in uh, in t-shirts and like t-shirts and like jeans. 
Or like shorts and hoodies. There's Carlos Correa as well. So seems like seems like it's not that bad, at least in the sun. All right, next box. Tristan Casas, Tristan Houses, going to Robert G and the Red Sox, by the way. Guy right there. I think we'll be indoors most. Oh, actually, I think we're going to the Top Golf. We're going to be indoors most of the time. It was Tristan Casas for the Red Sox. Ricky Tapp says, we had six days of rain here. Where, where's here? We've had some, we've had some, uh, had some more rain than usual here in Los Angeles. Oh, in South Carolina. Yeah, I feel like there's been a lot of, and the, there was the, there was the uh, polar vortex in the Midwest. A lot of a lot of rain, a lot of snow, in unexpected places. It's been a bit colder than usual this particular winter. Joe Babcock saying he's got snowstorm one day in Virginia, and then 60 degrees the other day. Like, make up your mind, weather. All right. We got Fernando Romero for the Twins. That'll go to Sanford. And the Twins, Sanford's up in Green Bay. He's got some cold up there, too. And we got 51 out of 99, Josh Bro, for the Yankees. What up, bro? Chris Parent with another one. Got the Yankees in a spot random. Yeah, Chris Hale saying, looking forward to seeing how the White Sox prospects do this year. Maybe Luis Robert could get a little time during spring training. Eloy Jimenez. Nick Madrigal might be in camp, right? Nick Madrigal is a great pick. That was a, one of their one of their uh, their first round pick, I think, for the White Sox. David Duffy with the Shy Sox. And Kyle Tucker to ninety nine. As good as the Astros are, they still have a pretty strong farm system too, which is kind of crazy. We'll see Vlad Guerrero. We should see Vlad Guerrero Jr. in action this year. Manny Machado's a Padre. Cole Wynn for the Rangers. Going to Scott V. Where does this guy go? Maybe to this team right here, the Phillies? There were reports. There were reports that uh, Bryce Harper did meet with the Phillies owner in Vegas, or at least his plane was the, the the owner's private plane was in Vegas. Does that mean he met Bryce Harper? Maybe. Real-time ref saying Manny Machado just raised the value of Mackenzie Gore cards. I mean, that, that's the that's the sort of unintended or the sort of positive blowback from a big move like that for a smaller market team, right? A lot more attention being placed on that team all of a sudden. And then, you know, th then it starts to raise the profile 
of a lot of the other youngsters that are in that organization too. So that's got to help. See, Mackenzie Gore's in camera. He should be, he should be put, logging in a few innings here and there in the spring. Oh, no doubt. Yeah, the Padres' prospects are already good without him. There's got there's more more people are talking about the Padres. I've seen more Padres talk on MLB Network in the last like week than I've seen like the last year. There's Brandon Marsh for the Angels. That'll be for Jared S, who got the Angels in a spot random. Craig Kimbrell's not signed. We just passed by that Craig Kimbrell card. There's Brady Singer for the Royals. That'll be for Brett Myers. There you go. That's Big Rig and the Royals. There's Carlos Correa to 150. And there's Nico Horner for the Cubs. Another Cub for DMAC. I think that was their first round pick. Their most recent first round pick. And we've got 25 out of 50 gold power producers, Glaber Torres. No ink, but still nice. Rookie edition, of course. Patrick saying, Kimbrel, too much money? Someone's going to pay him, right, at some point? You know, Mike Malvers, they, they just mentioned that on MLB Network. They said the word is that Kimbrel will sit out the season if he doesn't get the deals looking for. But then I, there was a recent MLB report, network report, that said that that wasn't true, that he's looking forward to signing a deal and playing this season. Like, he's aggressively looking to make a deal, so. There's Jonathan India. That's one of their big first-round picks from last year. For the Reds, David Duffy with the red legs. TJ says, let him sit. You know, I wonder if that'll actually do him some good. For now, Tatis Jr. should be around in the spring. I guess all that service time stuff, so he'll, he'll probably come up in, like, mid-April. Looking for signing a deal he wants. Greedy, says Arthur. Man, if I was in his position, I'd be the same way. I'd try to get as much money as possible. Dr. Mario, what's going on? Rick, Rick, Ricky Tapp, what, what are you going to do without... Without us for three nights? Hmm. I don't know. You would go, uh, you would go maybe outdoors. I don't know, it's cold, cold, in, cold in your area. Maybe, uh, I guess you'll save some money, Ricky Tap, for a few nights. Uh, AP, you'd be team friendly. You're you're an owner's dream. Employers are always looking to underpay their employees. There's Clint Frazier, nice Clint Frazier. So you'll you'll help you'll help the ownership get another private plane. 
Another yacht, another mansion for themselves. Clint Frazier for Chris Parent, who got the Yankees in a spot random. And there's Harrison Bader to 10. Nice. Uh, Cardinals, Daniel Patera. And a two out of 50, Shohei Otani. It's showtime. Showtime. For the Angels, Jared Spielman with the Otani. Rookie auto, two out of 50. And he got the Angels in the spot random. That card is definitely gold. Gold! That is awesome. That is very nice. Congrats, Jared. There he is. That's FanDuel right there. Yeah, you got the Angels in the spot random and Otani pops out. It's pretty nice. That's, that's, uh, really can't get much better than that. And we got Jose Albertos. That'll go well with the uh, one I have out of 99. Time to start the rainbow. Find the one of one, the out of 10, et cetera, et cetera, the 25. All right. And we're already halfway through this break, folks. Four boxes to go. Four autos in each box, 16 autographs to go. So still plenty of time if you have not gotten a hit yet. Shoyo Otani won't be, I don't think we'll be able to, I think he'll be back until like May. It's just what I'm hearing. Possibly earlier, but... I don't think he'll be pitching this season. That is an expensive rainbow. Yes, find the pot of gold first. Then you can chase chase the Otani rainbow. Otani will be hitting. I think he'll be he'll, he'll do just fine as a hitter in the DH spot. But I don't think he's gonna he's, he's not gonna do any pitching until probably next season. It'll be interesting to see how Otani does, just uh, just as a just as a hitter, right? I mean, in only three hundred and sixty-seven plate appearances, right? Three hundred and twenty-six at bats, let's say. He hit 285, 22 home runs, 61 RBIs, and even stole 10 bases. Right? OPS of 925. That's not bad. If he if he adds like what, another hundred at bats on that? There's Daniel Lynch for the Royals. That's for Brett. What do you think? If he if he adds another hundred at bats, maybe two hundred at bats, depending on 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 his health this season. I guess he's missing a might miss a month or so, and unless he gets another hundred at bats, four hundred at bats. If he if he hold if he does two eighty, hits keeps hitting two eighty, thirty home runs. It's not bad. We got Christian Yelich out of two fifty and Alec Thomas. For Robert Edwards and the Diamondbacks. There's Otani again. Michael Kopech. I think he got injured last year, right? Might be another another year before we see him again, but 
Pretty good. Look at this. Nice Luis Urias. Early indications autograph for the Padres. I think the Friars are still trying to go for Bryce Harper. That goes to Josh Pruce. And the Friars, that is 20-something, 20 28. The glare is kind of weird. 28 out of 100. And we got power producers, Otani. All right, and there's Fernando Romero to 99. Justice Sheffield. Kershaw. Kershaw. It's been shut down for a little bit, but not because of his lower back issue, which is really what I was concerned about. Just kind of a kind of a dead arm is what they say. Just a little little rest and whatnot. I think he'll get it. it's still early in spring training, so I think they're just being overly precautious. He'll be fine by opening day. Uh, the back is what I'm worried about. Grayson Rodriguez, Orioles. That'll go to Joe Babcock with the O's. Joe on the board. Maybe we'll finally see some Victor Robles this season. That Victor Robles, Juan Soto outfield could be pretty strong. I think Trey Turner could take it to the next level. I think the Nationals have quietly built a pretty nice team. I think I have this information here on the on the break menu. They have the Nationals at Vegas has the Nationals over under the win their win total at eighty seven and a half. I think they're going to go over. That's, that feels a little low. Pulled up their uh, their depth chart on MLB.com. So yeah, they got Juan Soto out there, who's a sensation last year. Victor Robles, right? Victor Robles could be the new hot talent for the Nationals this year. Adam Eaton is still there. If healthy, he's pretty strong. They signed Brian Dozier. Trey Turner could take it to the next level. Anthony Rendon is there. Ryan Zimmerman still uh, still effective. Got a couple good veteran catchers. Jan Gomes, Kurt Suzuki. On there, they got they got a decent uh, bullpen. Got a great rotation. They added uh, Patrick Corbin to that rotation too. So it's Max Scherzer, Steven Strasburg, Patrick Corbin, which is pretty solid. I think they could win more than eighty-seven and a half games. All right, there's Machado. And Ryan Carl Weathers is here. Nice. I'm pretty sure he has no relation to Carl Weathers. I can't assume, but probably not. Wouldn't bet on it. Casey Mize put in a little work in spring training. An inning or two, and we've got for the Twins, Bruce Star Greaterall for the Twinkies. That goes to Sanford and Minnesota Twins, Twin Cities. Nice, another Jonathan India for the Red Legs. That goes to David Duffy, <laughs> real time, saying that National has been struggling to get out of the playoff friend zone. That's that's the that's been the problem. Just can't seem to quite get deep into the playoffs. 
Another Anthony Rizzo. Wow. Darren McKenzie. That is nice. There was one early in the case and now one late in the case. Strong break for the Cubs. Darren got that in a spot random. Got lucky enough in the spot random. All right, eight autographs to go, ladies and gentlemen. Vegas also has a couple other teams. I feel like they have low low win totals. They both have. I think they both have the Red Sox and the Yankees at ninety five and a half. I feel like both of those teams will go over. Orioles might lose hundred games this year. I think uh, Marlins might lose hundred games this year too, right? All right, we got Josh Stewart for the Mariners. Matt Buckler with the M's. Vegas has the Mariners at about 74 and a half wins. I think that's about right. And Blake Snell. Your AL Cy Young Award winner. That autograph going to Daniel Patera and the Tampa Bay Rays. Poor Tampa Bay Rays. They've got a good team. They won 90, what, 90-some 90 odd games last year? That would have that would have won the AL Central, I think. <laughs> Whatever their win was. The Vegas has them set at 84 and a half. There's a nice uh, gold judge. That card is gold. 44 out of 50 for Chris Parent. And we've got another Blake Snell, this time 21 out of 50. Snell box. But poor Rays, they're stuck in a division with the uh, Red Sox and the Yankees. That's going to be a tough one. We got Ronald Acuna Jr. to 250 for the Bravos. Robert G. with the Braves. And we got Trevor Larnock for the Tribe. And that should be that. One more box to go. The Indians belong to Matt Buckler. Or sorry, Trevor Larnock is a twin. My, my, my apologies. Sanford with the twins. Different AL Central team. Vegas has Cleveland. I don't know what's going to happen in the AL Central. They have Cleveland at 90 and a half wins. That sounds about right. Twins are set at 84 and a half wins. I might take the over on I might take the over on that. I feel like the Twins can 
I don't know. They they got a they got a young enough team where 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 you can be like, oh, yeah, that guy and that guy, you know, had a breakout season, and next thing you know, they've got like 88, 89 wins. What's going on with Cleveland? They were threatening to trade. Well, they don't have Michael Brantley. They oft injured Michael Brantley. They were thinking about trading Kluber, which I guess could still happen. But they could lose those guys. And I feel like they could still probably win the division, but I don't know. Not quite sure what the what the Indians are trying to do right now. Sort of a rebuild, but stay competitive at the same time kind of deal, I guess, but no real big movement in the free agent market either. All right, there's Fernando Tatis Jr. will be a big name in the hobby this year. There's Luis Escobar autograph for the Buccos. And that goes to Tommaso, who got the Pirates, uh, the last spot mojo Pirates. So about... About 70% of the time, Last Spot Mojo has been hitting about 100% of the time. There's Grayson Rodriguez out of 250. And your redemption is best of 2018 autograph refractor parallel of Bryce Turang for the Milwaukee Brewers. That's Rory on the board with his Brewers. Brewers are going to be interesting too, right? I think Brewers' win total from Vegas seems low. 84 and a half. Might take the over on that. All right, last couple autographs. Good luck, everybody. We got Ozzy Albius out of 150, and there's a redemption behind Ozzy. We got a nice best performers, Brady Singer, for Brett and his Royals. Nice. And that is 127 out of 150 for the young righty. And there you go. Let's see what the redemption is. Ben, what's going on? Are we going to get any more of those Jaspies Big Hit Express breaks again? Well, there's a reason why I called it Series 1. Hopefully there'll be a Series 2 sometime this year. Keep an eye out. JaspiesCaseBreaks.com. There it is. Website right there. 92 out of 150. Ozzy Alvius reveals a best of 2018 autograph of B... R. Bryce Turing, another Bryce Turing for Rory. Sign your cards, Bryce. So that goes to Mr. Rory and the Milwaukee Brew Crew. Crew of the Brew. No randomizers, nothing else to do. Nice clean break. That was Bowman's best. Pick your team number 20 from jazbeescasebreaks.com. I think I saw another case in the back, so... You might see that on the website sometime next week. All right, thanks, everybody. Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. We'll see you next time for the next one. Bye-bye.